Hey coders, what's up? I hope you guys are having a great week so far. Chris here, and in this lesson, I'm gonna show you guys how to set up and install CocoaPods. Now, if you don't know what CocoaPods is, or you've never used it, then this video is for you. Because CocoaPods allows you to manage and use third-party code in your Xcode project, and it's widely used by anyone who's building apps right now, even the large companies who are building the big name apps. So in this lesson, you'll learn how to install and set it up, and you're only gonna have to do this once, and then over the next few days, I'll show you guys some of the must-have third-party libraries. For those of you guys who have used CocoaPods before, let me know in the comments section what your favorite libraries are. And then maybe in the future, I can even cover it for everyone here. So originally, I showed how to set up CocoaPods in a video in the shopping app series, but it's buried inside that video. And I really want to pull it out and draw attention to it because it's really important and useful for anybody who's doing app development. So this is that video. First of all, let's install CocoaPods. You're in luck because I just got a brand new shiny iMac and I don't have CocoaPods installed, so we're going to be able to go through that together. Now alternatively, a couple of great guides to install CocoaPods can be found on the official CocoaPods site under Guides Getting Started uh, and then under Installation. And another great one is on Ray Wenderlich's site, How to Use CocoaPods with Swift. So I'll add these two links in the description below. Okay, so what you're going to do first is open up Terminal. So you can either press Command Spacebar and search for Terminal and open it up that way. Or if you go to your launch pad, it is, I believe, in Utilities, or Other, sorry, and it's this one right here, Terminal. So when you click that, it shows a little window like this. And all you have to do is type sudo gem install CocoaPods. Now hit Enter and it's going to ask you for your password. After you enter in your password, it might take a little while to get started as it did for me. I had to wait about maybe 40 seconds before I started to see anything on the screen, but I just cut out that waiting time in the editing so you didn't see any of it. But when it's finished installing, you should see something like this. The next thing you wanna do is type pod setup dash dash verbose. And that's going to let you see the progress as it's setting things up. So with those two commands, we are done setting up CocoaPods. And if you're not familiar with working in Terminal or this kind of looks complicated, don't worry because you only need to set up CocoaPods once. And then after that, as you're going to see soon, it's very simple to set up for each new Xcode project that you do. So there you have it. Pretty easy to set up, right? And you only had to do that once. Now in the coming days, I'll introduce you guys to all of the popular third-party libraries that are really handy to have in your Xcode project. And I'll show you guys how to set it up and use it using CocoaPods. So thanks for watching. If you know someone who hasn't heard about CocoaPods or hasn't used it before, please send them this video. And if you found it useful, please share it. Thank you so much for watching again, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.